Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well I've got a little site here we're building, it's just a little e-commerce site. And at the moment it's got no posts on it if I go to the post page. In fact I'll get rid of that, the generic one that they put in there, I'm just going to go ahead and trash that. And what I want to do today is import some posts from another website into this one so we've got a bunch of posts and you may need to do this if you're building a new site for yourself or a customer and they've already got existing posts it's all very easy you don't need any plugins or anything to do it so if I go to my other site over here this is actually my blog site I've got plenty of blogs on there but I don't want to export all of them if we go to the post page you know there's plenty of them there so let's go ahead and do this first thing I want to do obviously on the site with the post is export the posts or as many of the posts that I want to. So if we go to dashboard we'll go down go down to tools and I'm going to say export go down to export. Now I'm using Windows Exporter you may have a page here in fact we'll see it on the other site if I go to the other site and do a thing I've already got my Windows Exporter activated so let's go to this site do the same thing go down to tools and I'll, I'll hit import and if you're not already use the importer you're going to be faced with this screen and the one down the bottom WordPress is the one that you want to use because I've already got it activated on this site and I've done it before I've not got that screen so I've got the uh, WordPress importer or exporter enabled here now I want to put it on posts I don't want to grab them all. Um, I can choose the categories, but I'm I'm probably going to do all categories, but only for a specific date. Let's say from December 2018 to November 2019, and all. Yeah, we'll we'll take all of them. You can either take publish, schedule, draft, pending, private, but we'll take all of them. Now I simply go down and left click on the download export file button and as you can see it's porting and exporting an XML from our site. Now if we look at one of these posts, I'm not sure, let's just look at this one. I think I included this one in the export. It's actually got some images in there as well as a YouTube video, some, well those are adverts but it's got a couple of images in there to make sure we get the images with it as well especially the featured image go back to my exporter now we've exported the posts let's go down to media and I'm going to export the media from the same date so starting on December 2018 I believe and ending November 19 download export file as you can see it's downloaded it there I'm using Google Chrome it downloads it to a little bar down here if you're using Firefox there's usually a downloader up here um, most of them will deal download by default to your downloads page but do check so you know where they're being downloaded to okay so what I've got those going on let's go to the site that we want to import them to which was this site here and we've gone to tools and we've gone to import now I need to select the WordPress just the one on the bottom and it'll install the importer and exporter that's what we've actually used for the one before now it's installed I can hit run importer just left click and here it is it just says choose your file I'm just going to drag this up or you can go to the where it's located or you can hit that and, and go to it that way I'm just going to drag these up just right next door to the button hit upload file and import and it's asking me it's a different author so it's asking me to import that one or create a new one I'm just going to go ahead and import that one or you can assign the post to it an existing user. I'm going to click import file attachments also so hit that and submit okay now it's all done 
that took about two minutes. Let's do the next one. So I'm going to hit the import again. Run the importer. And again, drag my file up here. Like I say, you can click on there and browse to it. Upload file and import. Again, I'm going to check download import file attachments and hit submit. I'm not going to create a new user. And again, we're done. So let's go and have a look at our post page now. Because remember, it was absolutely empty before. And we've got all these posts here. Let's see if they're actually going to show up the way they should. Let's hit the view tab. And there's our post. Yep, it's got the images, the YouTube video, all the attachments that we had. Fantastic. So there is how to import and what well, export and then import your blogs from one site to another. This will work with any WordPress site. Like I say, you don't need any third party plugins or anything. Really useful thing to be able to do if you're building a new site for yourself with existing content or for one of your customers. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there. And we've also got some premium ones with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.